हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज तनिजा गुप्ता वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड आई एम बैक विद माई न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ फोटो सिंथेसिस विच इज वॉट फोटो फॉस्फोराइलेशन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक अबाउट द साइट ऑफ फोटो सिंथेसिस एंड अबाउट द लाइट रिएक्शन और यू कैन से जेड स्कीम हाउ डज टेक्स प्लेस ओके सो नाउ लेट्स हैव लुक ऑफ फोटो फॉस्फोराइलेशन सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फॉस्फोराइलेशन फॉस्फोराइलेशन मीन्स वॉट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ए टी पी and nadph is for known as the phosphorylation okay and it is generally taken place in the mitochondria as well as the chloroplast okay now what is the meaning of photophosphorylation means the formation of the high energy molecule in the presence of light is called the photophosphorylation clear okay now this photophosphorylation is of two type one is the non cyclic and another one is the cyclic photophosphorylation so with the name you just have an idea cyclic means they make a cycle okay and in non cyclic there is no cycle taken place so let's have a look first of the non cyclic photophosphorylation uh, what happen in this photo system second it take the light from the sun or take the energy from the sun as well as is also take the electron from the splitting of water okay so this electron and this light it get excited and it release this electron next to the electron transport system which is going through the pheophytin so you can say the first electron acceptor in the non cyclic food system is the pheophytin then it goes to plastoquinone cytochrome b6f then plastocyanin and ultimately it reach to the plasto uh, photosystem 1 which absorb the light maximum at 700 nanometer and get excited now it release the electron in the frs complex frs complex means what ferrodoxin reductase system or oh, sorry substances okay now it pass to the ferrodoxin and ultimately the nadp it get reduce into nadph with the help of taking uh, electron as well as hydrogen taken from the stromal region this one also i have explained in z scheme already it is in previous video clear so this is about the non cyclic fine now what about the cyclic what happen here only photo system 1 take part there is no photosystem to present okay and it is taken place in this stroma lamina region only stroma lamina region only okay and here there is no photosystem to present photosystem 2 is not present over here that's why only photosystem 1 is present over here so what happen it take the uh, energy from the sunlight and get excited release the electron and pass into the to the frs okay so here the first acceptor is the pheophytin but here the first electron acceptor is the frx complex okay then it pass the electron to fd again it pass the electron to cytochrome b6 then to the plastoquinone it take the hydrogen from the stromal region cytochrome f again it pass the electron to plastocyanin and now it uh, pass the electron back to the plasto uh, sorry photosystem 1 so can you see this is a cyclic process electron again and again passing into the photosystem 1 whereas in this system what happen the electron doesn't get back it to the photosystem 2 it get doesn't back to the photosystem 2 then what will happen from whom it will take electron next then it will take the electron from the water from the water it take the electron this deficiency is fulfilled by the water molecule because there is no uh, electron come back to the photosystem second that is why it is a non cyclic process okay and it is a cyclic process one more thing what happen in non cyclic nadp reductase is present which reduce the nadp into nadph whereas in cyclic there is no presence of this nadp reductase so there is no formation of nadph okay but in non cyclic atp formation occur but and cyclic also atp formation occur clear so in non cyclic nadph and atp both are formed whereas in cyclic only atp molecule are getting formed and yes one more thing non cyclic process taken place in the grana region 
whereas the cyclic process taken place is the stroma lamina okay let's have a look of the difference in between non cyclic and cyclic okay so i'm just writing all the differences about the non cyclic as well as the cyclic process right so this is the non cyclic okay the first difference is what non cyclic is taken place in the grana thylakoid okay where is the cyclic taken place in the stroma lamella okay somewhere you also get it as the stroma thylakoid this is also the same thing clear okay in non cyclic electron doesn't get back to the photosystem second okay whereas in cyclic process electron get back to the photosystem one in non cyclic photosystem 2 and photosystem 1 both are present right whereas in cyclic process only photosystem 1 is present clear okay in non cyclic atp and nadph both are getting formed okay whereas in non cyc uh, sorry cyclic there is no formation of any dph only the atp formation occur okay now in non cyclic as i told you because electron doesn't get back to the photosystem second so from whom it take the electron it take the electron from the water due to splitting of water okay so here water splitting occur here water splitting occur but here there is no water splitting no water splitting okay in non cyclic the first electron acceptor first electron acceptor is what pheophytin okay whereas here the first electron acceptor is the the first electron acceptor is the frs complex this is the ferrodoxin reductis substance okay yes and one more thing because here water splitting occurs so that is where oxygen also release from it which get release outside the cell but here no water splitting so there is no oxygen evolution or no oxygen evolute or release okay so these are the differences between non cyclic and cyclic i hope this video is clear to all of you if you have any doubt you can uh, write your query in the comment box and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel and share it also and yes press the bell icon too so that you can get all my upcoming notification so thank you so much for watching this